I write you now on this, the eve of my final hour. Of all the things that could have been, I feel this is only fitting that this be the final solution for my tormented soul. I had planned a long and prosperous life, full of the finest things that anyone could imagine, a life of sheer and unadulterated happiness. But as my quivering hand begins to write, I find myself alone and without a scrap of these long sought mortal desires. All that I have left is the shallow satisfaction of my daily beauty rituals. A bit of soft powder and smooth lipstick, rouge to lighten my spirits, to feel ladylike one last time. My sweet mother once told me that life was a gift that should be cherished. There are things that I shall deeply miss from this life. I shall greatly relish the cold dew of the early morning and the sway of maple branches in the swift autumnal breeze. But I shall not miss the dull tone of humanity and its apathetic derision. These miserable fools are no longer men, but scavenging fiends hell-bent on depriving me of my fragile happiness. As far as I'm concerned, they can collect their taxes from the worms and the maggots that feed on my dead flesh. As the days pass on, some may grow weary when no word is received from myself or news of my dispatched, adulterating bastard of a husband. I raise a glass and drink one last sip of life's sweet nectar, remembering that my last memory shall soon be forgotten. To all who seek an answer, here it is. I have lived a lie and have died in agony. Truly sorrowful, Cynthia. Thank you.